Yes, it is. All right. So here we go. All right. We're going to do nail trim first. I'm going to take a look at that. Can you stay up there? Oh, yeah, probably not. Put this on here. Come look up. Look up. You're okay. Hey. And mom, you can stay right there. Two hands right there, just so he kind of, because he's a big boy. Let me just look first. Start trimming, okay? You can do head up front. You can hold his head looking at you. I know, right, buddy? You're okay. You're okay. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. Let me see. No, no. made this extended version here. So yeah, that's really good for his size. Mm -hmm. Let's see if that helps him kind of support his Don't do it. I can feel you pulling. You see this one? Steady. Steady. No, no. No, no. No, no. I'm actually going to do his pads while we're in here. Oh, this. Okay. This will really help, I think. Nope, nope, don't go nowhere. No, no. You're okay. No, no. No, no. No, no. Don't do it. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. Don't go nowhere. Hold on. Come here. Let me see. Let me see. Don't do it. Okay, steady. Let me see this paw. Let me see. Let me see. Don't. Don't. I want to give me his problem. Yeah, that's why I have a hard time trying to trim his nails because he does Hit. that. He kicked the window out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
you okay, man? You're all right. You're all right. Let me just see the pad here. Don't look at me like that. Okay, I'm almost done here, ma'am. <clears throat> Let's see about this. Steady now so I can get in here and look for this nail. Here we go. Okay, let me see. Do it. Let me see. Let me see, please. Nope. Let me see. Let me see, please. Yeah, I've got one pad left to do here. You can swing that too if that's in your way over that way if you want. Okay. What is his left ear? Mm -hmm. It's worse than. Mm -hmm. It's more worse than the other one. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take a look here. So first, I'd st I started here. Or I'll come back to it. Any of this dirt that's like on this flap. This color, though, be aware. If it keeps staying in there, that's a light ear infection, in my opinion. And I'll show you some. I'm going to save that so you can compare it to some of the stuff I have. So you just put your finger right there and scoot back. There's a hole in there. Okay. Not a hole, but there's a groove. So see all that in there? You can't really tell, right? Mm -hmm. Just by looking at it, it looks clean, but that residue in there, in my opinion, is a ear, light ear infection. And this, uh, and again, I'm not a veterinarian, but I've been doing this a long time. The pictures will speak for themselves. So I'm just scooping back. I'm not digging way down in here. I'm digging all this stuff right here out, okay? <clears throat> this color here, real, I call it brick, burgundy red, brown. Uh, it does get, start, it keeps getting thicker and thicker like tar. So sometimes I'll say it looks just like tar.
Yeah, this one definitely has more of that color. I don't know. You, you can stay there, but you got to let us get in here, bud. Yeah, so so this to me is a light ear infection. If he wants to see if he wants to lay down, it's fine. So if we want to do a full ear flushing today, it won't be 12. I can keep cleaning for just for 12, but if we want to do, in my opinion, we would do the malacetic otic flushing afterwards, and that's, that total is going to be 15 plus tax, just a few dollars more. Would you like me to do the whole thing? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So keep them there. They're, they're in tough shape. These are in tough shape. So in my opinion, um, I've been doing this, and I found that there's a couple different colors that come out of the ears. This color, brick brick red is what I call it, or yellow. And yellow <coughs> usually is an allergy issue versus brick red is usually what I have found. It, it's in a dog that loves water or gets bathed with a water hose or water's all over the place. Like this guy, he's pretty big. I, I wouldn't think you could bathe him in the sink. You know what I mean? No. So when you bathe them, it's probably, or when you've taken them somewhere, it's probably, um, hold on, hold on. So you're just going to go back here and scoop that back crevice. And you can keep cleaning this, get it as much as you can out like we have already. Mm -hmm. But if you keep going and you ever feel like, and scoop forward right here on this flap right here. And you're lucky his ear canal is real big. I'm just not digging down that hole there. I'm doing a forward scoop and a reverse scoop. Does it make sense? Yeah. Okay, so you're going to scoop forward in this this crevice in there and then scoop backwards. And then there's a, a little bit of like a pocket back there. You go down in that pocket and then scoop up here and then do the whole ear flap. And then since we're done here, we're now going to flush with the malacetic otic. Stay there for me. He can come down if he wants, but I'm going to pour this in his ear. So with, when you get this stuff, you're going to pour it up here so it doesn't suck it back into the ear, like into the bottle. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do this side. Stay, stay, stay. Oh, okay, hold on, stay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shaking is fine. You want to come down now? He can put his collar back on. He's going to shake his head, which is fine. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, I know. Is it tickle in there? Is it tickle in there? Okay, all right. He can come down, Mom. Go ahead, shake your head some more. Go ahead. Yeah? I think he's just bugging that now. All right. All right, he can come down. I'm going to wash my hands and I'll meet you up.